Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Gray back with more reactions with an X. Uh, I'm coming back to you today doing more Ruby uh, reactions. We're doing season five's episodes eight and nine, maybe ten if we get the time. I have the Comic Convos podcast after this, so I don't have as much time. And then we'll try to do some more after this. We're not streaming them today just because yesterday was the 4th of July and it's been a rough week. We're trying to get everything like together and set for the next month or two because we're really going to have to focus on I got to go find a new job or start doing Uber or something because it's been a while and uh, no longer able to just uh, chill and keep focusing on the reactions for this month like I was. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited for it. Thanks for everyone who's been supporting. Thank you for our new patrons today. Your stuff should be coming. This is the day I'm recording this as well. So while I do this other stuff, that'll also be uploading. This is actually part of that. Hopefully you guys get this uh, to our patrons. It'll be part of your you know, monthly rewards package. You'll have most of Season 5 ahead of time. And for those who don't know, you can get early access to pretty much all our videos as well as exclusive content by visiting... Uh, Patreon, where for as low as a dollar a month you can get unopacity, the uncut versions of most of these episodes. Not the Ruby ones, although I think I'm going to do a re-edit where I do put those up with full opacity and stuff on Patreon in season form. So I'll put all the episodes up in big format so you guys can watch them there. But yeah, we're going to continue. That was enough intro. You know, you don't want to hear me talk forever. We skipped the intros anyway, so that wouldn't take up that time. And the reason we skip the intro is for like licensing and also not to spoil ourselves because I feel like intros are super spoily. Um, I think this one was Alone Together is the name of the episode, but I'm excited for it. It's been a really good season. I really like the character development and the writing that has put them where they need to be. I always forget which one is which. All right. Birds, random spot, place. It's probably not random, but I don't know where we're at. I mean, we're in Minstrel Min 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 Haven, but I don't know where in Minstrel Haven. Hello, bird. Uh oh! That would freak me out. That's fun. Story of my life. Uh, too bad I don't like coffee. I wish I did. I really wish I did sometime. Not that nice. <laughs> Mm, right. And all the other magic and stuff. If you know what I mean, I honestly wasn't sure if I had to say it. Oh. Well, poor girl. Here's to defying expectations. In a good way. In a good way. No, oh, she'll make it around. No. Oh. Why would I want to? You just want to go to Eden? Oh, whatever gave you that idea, Ruby? No, I'm totally fine. This is great. Okay, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Ooh, the eyes. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna lie. After being, I was pretty mad at her for distrusting Yang after the whole thing of the thing, and then to. You know, lose your arm trying to help defend her, and then for her to peace out on you. I could totally understand why she's angry. Obviously, that's that's not why. She, I mean, that's not why she says she did that, and I don't believe it is. You know, I believe she was just kind of hurt and traumatized and wanted to get away from that area and memory. So that sucks. Oh, it's from her friend. She's gonna say, "Get out! Run!" Oh no. 
Is it an actual friendly warning or a trap? I don't trust anyone, so it's probably a trust. Just about trap, not trash. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, she's not okay. <sighs> like, that's a rough one because obviously she wants to keep. Oh my god, I got the plus play thing on there still. Sorry, guys. I didn't notice I left that there. There's a big play button in the middle of the screen all the whole time. My bad. Oh. It is Weiss. Uh, <clears throat> oh. Hey, Weiss. Heart to heart time. I mean, yeah, that does have It's hard for everybody. You don't hear about a mom so this is probably that too. Communication is key. That's really cute. See, now that is character growth. That is very good character growth from Weiss to be able to open up in that manner. Hmm. <clears throat> 
that's the kind of character growth that takes time and events. Oh no. Is it going to be a good meeting or a bad meeting? Oh man, I'm getting some serious glare from the sun over here and it is destroying my image at like the bottom left of the screen. No, that's not what she's sorry about. Yep. How did you not see this coming? Even if you didn't, she was on the opposite side of you. Did you at least bring backup? Please tell me you brought a little bit of backup. None. All right, let's see what she. What are you doing? I tried to warn you, Billy. You can well call me a dark, shadowy woman. I am sorry it had to be this way, but you and me. Now she's not. No. Not true. Also not true. This is also not the best thing for you. <laughs> mm, no. Not even close. That's what inspires hate. It's classically, psychologically, you hate what you fear you fear what you don't understand right because it's different <clears throat> whatever go take a psychology class her not you guys where on earth How are you going to stop him? Because I feel like if her whole family died right now, and I'm a dick for saying this, she is at fault. Period. She trusted an enemy who is proven to be an enemy on several occasions. I, I get trying to like... <laughs> trying to see the best in people and reclaim your friendship but not at the cost of other people and your family or your people who are supposedly really close to you i'm really disappointed here that she didn't have any backup not even that she didn't like think but yeah no blind trust i just don't blindly trust anybody there yeah i knew she would have smart girl i was waiting for it ah <sighs> And now she has redeemed it all. All of it. No. You hurt Ellie and my family's in danger. Call the police and let's go. Now that is a smart thing because by bringing back up she has ascertained the enemy's goals while simultaneously giving false information that they Ooh, guns? Yeah. Ooh, rough. Yeah, but giving false information to the enemy about their current. So now, you know, her friend currently thinks that she's tied up on the way to Adam, which is not true. Get him, mama! Yeah! Where is Gira? I figured he'd be a boss. Oh yeah, he's taking tons of people on! <laughs> hand to hand, huh? Oh, dead. Who got him? Those two, huh? Wonder how strong these guys are. 
I also oh is is he a wolf? Is he a I don't oh so he has the claws. I just don't know what his animal hybrid is. I feel like I feel like we don't got a big clue. Really good. I'm so proud of Blake for evolving and growing, showing character growth away from the naivety of just blindly trusting your friends. If for those of you out there, I you might have some great friends. Everybody makes mistakes. Anybody can you know stab you in the back. Your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your children. Man, do not put anything past anybody. All right? Period. Me included. Politicians, the Pope, everybody. Great one though. I really enjoyed that, guys. Like I really really enjoyed that. You have no idea how proud I am of Blake right now and like how impressed I am with her growth and as a character. That is so cool and so amazing to see her and how she's changing and growing past, one, growing past her trauma, two, growing past her naivety. It's going to be great. I'll see you guys on this next episode. Thanks for watching as always. You know, you can come and chat it up with me in Discord if you want to come and, you know, uh, talk about things I missed. That's another good place to do it. I'll be able to chat with you guys there more easily on YouTube. Uh, I see the comments, but it's tough. They don't always pop up for me, and I can only check them every couple of days. Discord's like on my phone and stuff, so it's a lot easier for me to just pop in. So always check out the Patreon if you want early access to these. I believe currently we're like a week ahead, which is basically two or three episodes for Ruby, and we're trying to get farther ahead. We're also going to be doing exclusive releases now. Uh, after this, I think uh, we're going to be doing some Ruby Chibi or something else, but I'm not sure exactly what we're doing. So stay tuned and find out. We might put up some polls or something on Patreon. We want to do stuff on YouTube, but we don't have enough subscribers, I think, to put out polls, etc. So we're trying to grow. Thanks again, guys. I hope you liked that episode. If not, feel free to rip me to shreds, as always. And I'll catch you next time on Reactions with an X.